The Bologna supposed Jim as an honest two brothers doing the work in truth, was sincerity. Uh, saw a guy which goes on my way home, saw a guy just reading an old verse, was it? This is 25th, 23rd verse? Uh, 25th verse, right? It says, then said, this is of John 7th chapter. It says, then said some of them of Jerusalem, is this is not this he whom they seek to kill? Basically thought, why not just go into the whole chapter, a good chapter. Um, right, that there was just showing the boldness of Yahweh, the same boldness that you know the spirit, you know, uh, you know, is, is, is on us to have, right? Or, or you know, but we're still coming in, um, you know, that Lord will, we're all gonna have, right? Because you know, the times that we're coming into are, uh, are, are, are treacherous times, right? This is John 7 from the top says, And after these things, Yahweh walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry. Right, we look in this word Jewry. Uh, this is Yud Yahuda, basically Judah, and the Judean land, so Judea. Right, it's walked, would, for he would not walk in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him. Right, showing you also that, you know, it's not a thing about being a tough man all the time. Right, if you can get yourself out of a situation, then do so, man. Now, as opposed to saying, man, if they see a nigga coming this way, they're going the other way. Well, if you're around, um, you know, you might just be chilling and, and, you know, a whole bunch of niggas bring that nigga vibe. You know, it's some hey, you got to assess such situation. There's no, you know, there's no shame in dipping, right? This is now the feast. Uh, now, the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. It right, says, his brethren therefore said unto him, depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. This is a long one, I'll try to go through this quick. It says, for there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Yahushua said unto him, my time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. Well, so everything has to happen to a season and we're going to get another situation in, in this chapter where, you, you know, you see that everything has to happen according to a plan. Right, it says um, in verse 7, it says, The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, but because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Right, so when 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 we're at camp, we're teaching these these uh, we're teaching these scriptures and that, and people coming up to us saying, ah, this, ah, that, they're hating on us. Right, it's not us they're hating; they're hating on the Lord Himself. Right, and it's because what we're teaching is teaching the words of the Lord, the word of the Lord. Right, basically condemn the society, they condemn the wickedness that goes on in the society. Leviticus nineteen twenty seven. Right, for instance, um, you know, uh, in fact, I might say Leviticus 20 and 13, but 19 and 27 is another one. Right, 20 and 13 being if a man laugh of mankind, is the laugh of womankind, I homosexuality. Right, um, Leviticus 19, 20, lining yourself up. Right, you know, uh, you know, we, we curse out people who, 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 who have abortions, man. We say that ain't the way to go. Well, you know, we we we, uh, we tell people not to eat abominable foods, right? And we we say that out of love because you eat an abominable food, man, you end up getting killed. You know, the Lord will put one of them heart attack angels on you, man, and then boom! You know, as the scripture would say, then your heart turns to stone. Right? Um, in fact, let, let, let me retract that. I don't know if that actually means having a heart attack. But, you know, you, you, you get the sentiment that I'm making, right? So when we tell all these people these things, they basically hate us for saying that. If I, let me um, get that in Isaiah 6. Alright, so Isaiah 6 and 9 says, And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of these people. Is this what I want? I think I want five. Um, yeah, so Isaiah 5 and 20 says Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil Right And <laughs> right, they um, What you call They call being homosexual good They call being a tranny good They call um, You know Indulging in the wickedness of this society good 
they uplift um, adultery. Why they put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for, sweet for bitter. They, they flipped everything around, man. Then we're out there telling, hey, don't be sleeping with your brother's wife, man. You go out there and say, hey, don't be doing this, don't be doing that. And they're hating on us because we're, we're party poppers, as they'd say. Right? Just on that, as a precept to Isaiah 5 and 20, so Isaiah 29 and 16 says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. Which is basically what you saw there in Isaiah 5 and 20. Everything being switched up. The good is now evil. Evil is now good. You know, a man learned in the scriptures, he's a square. He's this, he's that, he's boring. Right? Why? Because if, you, if a man learns in the scriptures, he's not going to be getting down with the wickedness of this world. Right, it says, For shall the work say of him that made it, he may be not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he hath no understanding. Alright, so let me carry on. It says, Go ye up into the feast, uh, John 7 and 8. It says, Go ye up into this feast, I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he had said these words unto <coughs> Salak, he abode still in Galilee. It says, but when his brethren were gone up, then went he up also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. So basically he went up privily, right? It says, then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? It says, and there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, he is a good man. Others said, nay, but he deceived the people. And you see the same thing that they said about us. You know, you did the guys will come past, hey, you know, it's, it's a good work. You know, I say, hey, you know, this, that and the other. And they'll go around, you know, go carry on doing what they're doing. But, they, they, you know, they haven't got a bad word to say about us. But then you've got the majority of the people who do. You know, your family's in that number. Because you know, right now they might be able to bear you. They might suffer you to be in their presence. But when the Esau comes knocking at the door, do, 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 do. Or not even do, do, no, just a straight, bam. You know, kick the door open like Obama, right? Then they're going to sell you out, Right? Because some say we we be deceiving the people. Some say, you know, that we're telling the people that the RFID chip is not the... So some people say that um, we're telling people that the RFID is the microchip and that we're wrong. We're not wrong. But they're basically saying that we're going around deceiving the people. Right? It says, how be it, no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. So they still, you know, that was just, you know, sorry, I'm like, hey, you know, I, hey, I've been hearing this, I've been hearing that. But they didn't want to say it out loud um, for fear of repercussions. Well, it says, now about the midst of the feast, Yahusha went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learnt? Yahusha answered them and said, "My, yeah, we're well, on that. <laughs> And that's what they say of us, man. You know, you see them when they come up to the camp, they basically think they can just school us. Um, you know, not knowing that this thing ain't about no seminary school, no degree or doctorate. Right? This thing is about the spirit that the Lord himself has put into you. Right, it says Amos 3 and uh, 7 says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right? And that started off with um, you know, with uh, the apostles and the apostles before them. Right, and they basically the spirit of the Lord was on them to basically take this word, you know, take these talents and to flip it, right, and then get more talents and more talents, right, and basically multiply. Um, such that you can see camps all over the world, right? Let me also get a First Corinthians, uh, if I want one, first chapter. But there's something in here as well that I'm looking for. What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, no, it says um, First Corinthians two and one. It says, "My brethren." When I came to you, came not with excellent excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of the Most High. Right, well, because you know they might these guys might be hearing us speak a certain way. You know we are uh, we speak with slang. Uh, you know because what you you, 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 you you as Paul said, you know to the barbarians, he spoke as a barbarian. Right, you know we speak a certain way, we do things a certain, way, we dress a certain way. Right, so people, you know, they, you know, they, they look at us a certain way. But Paul, Paul did the same. You know, we're not great orators. We're not, you know, um, you know, uh, yeah, as, as you know, as the scripture says, not excellency of speech. Right. Let me also get First Corinthians, the first chapter, um, what verse two and one. Verse. 
Drag it down. Uh, Right, it says um, 1 Corinthians 1, 27, But the Most High has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and the God, and Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Right, so we're, we're, um, we don't go, we haven't got no uh, funny letters before or after our names. Right, we're just, you know, Joe Blog from, you know, from, you know, around the block, or Joe Blog from, you know, from this state or that state or this city. Right, so uh, you know when you get you know people like Doctor James White or whatever his name is, you know coming up against us, everyone's rooting for him. Everyone's expecting him to be able to break things down. But no, what do we read in Amos three and seven? These breakdowns are given to the apostles, right? And they have you know disseminated that throughout the whole world using the medium called the internet, right? Because that's how the Lord likes to do things. He, you know, He likes to do things in style. He likes the uh, the underdog. Right? It says, we said back in John seven fourteen, it says now about the midst of the feast. Yeah, I shall well have into. Uh, I read, 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 already read that. So verse seventeen says, if any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of the Most High, or whether I speak of myself. Right? So he's saying, yo man, if you learn, you know what where my doctrine's coming from. You know, if you learn. You'll be able to discern whether I'm speaking of myself or whether I'm speaking of the most high. And that's what a lot of um a lot of people, especially in the Christian church, haven't got the ability to do. They can't tell whether a man's speaking of himself or whether he's speaking according to the law. Right? Um it says verse 18 it says, He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that starts, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him. The same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not the Most High give you? Did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you keep of the law. Why go you about to kill me? One well, he's saying, look, man. What, what does the scripture say? Well, it says, you break one law, you break them all. And what is the wages of sin? Death. Well, so he's saying, you all have sinned, man. You are worthy of death, but you trying to kill me? Well, it says, thou answered. Uh, the people answered and said, thou hast a devil. Who goeth about to kill thee? Right, so they, they they lied, man. <laughs> right, says so Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore gave you unto circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers, and ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are ye angry at me because I have made ev made a man every whit a whole on the Sabbath day? So I saw uh, uh, referring to the story in John the fifth chapter, right, where Yahweh Shai basically heals a man, right? But um, you know they're like, oh my God, how are you going to do this on the Sabbath? How are you going to do this on the Sabbath, right? But like he gave the example there of about how um you know you got to circumcise even on the Sabbath, right? It says, um, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of the some of them of Jerusalem, is this not he whom they seek to kill? Right. This is talking about that boldness again. Right. Um, these precepts that I want. Um, yeah, why not? Second Timothy one and seven. I don't know. I forgot what, what, when I timed all of these four. It says um, First Timothy, uh, Second Timothy one and seven. It says, "For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind." Right. So that's why we go out there so boldly, man. Because the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but also we we we, we know that the scriptures is true. We, we have faith. And what the Lord says, i.e. Psalms 34 and 7, says the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Right, so basically if, if, if there are people trying to attack us, we know that the angel of the Lord is going to be there to protect us. Unless it's the Lord's will that, you know, that we should uh, get taken out. What does the scripture say in uh, Thessalonians? That the, the dead in your house shall, those that died during this work, they shall be raised first. That's Thessalonians 4.16, right? This is uh, 2nd Ezra 2.47, right? it says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. 
right? Which basically means they 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 withstood, you know, everything trying to push them off from um, standing safely for the name of the Lord. Why right? they were bold, right? Because what does it mean stand for the name of the Lord? To curse out this kingdom, man. To curse out the wickedness that goes on in here, right? To to to, to promote a new kingdom, promote but no, promise wrong, what wrong word, but to uh, prophesy of a new kingdom where Israel. The so-called black man, Native Americans, so-called, and so-called Latinos, right? A kingdom where they rule. That's a direct threat to, to, to Esau's kingdom. Right? Yet we stand and do it boldly. Right? And that's just that boldness there that, um, uh, what do you call it? That, uh, uh, that we're supposed to have in this truth and that over a period of time, as you spend more time in this truth that you get. But you can't just like fuck it, cause you, you you know what it is, man. You know if you get put to death, what's worse that can happen? You get put to death, but that's not even a bad thing. That's not even a bad thing, cause like I said, in fact since I've mentioned it, I'll get it this. Since I've mentioned it again, that's oh, one button. Um, second Thessalonians, that's four. Right, it says first Thessalonians four sixteen for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the most high, and the dead in Yahushai shall rise first. So basically if you die for this truth, pff, that's not even a bad thing. Well one, you get a you get a quick release from this kingdom. Right, and then you get you know, you come back with Yahushai. Right, what did Paul say? Paul said, man, I'd much rather be with you, I wish I, 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 as in, in the spirit world. But he's like, look, but I've got a job to do, so I've got to finish that job. Right, this is Wisdom 5. It says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labours, which is what we're doing. We stand in great boldness in front of, uh, you know, the, the you know all, all the nations, even our, even our own. Right? It says, but lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is very uh, Mashiach, i.e. the anointed? It says, how be it? We know this man whence he is, but when Mashiach cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. Then cried Yehoshua in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Right, so that's a cut to all you, you know, the, the one entity Christian people, man. That ain't true. It says, then they sought to take him, but no man laid his hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. So as I said at the top, right, of this video, everything has to be done in a particular order in time, which is why um, the scriptures are basically laid out in such a way as they are, so that we can tell whether the, the, you know how far it is because scriptures say no man knoweth the hour wherein um the lord cometh back but we use all of these things to basically measure the time right it's the second as was nine says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs pass which i have told thee then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world he made and he goes on to list so uh, ezra goes on to list uh, you know, a load of signs, but you got all, all whole, a whole bunch of prophecies in there, right? But taking it back to where we are now, right? Uh, for instance, uh, uh, Judas hadn't even betrayed the Lord yet, but that had to happen, right? It says, and many of the people believed on him and said, When Mashiach cometh, will he do more uh, miracles than these which this man do? It says, the, the Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Right? It says, Then said Yahushua unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. It says, Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and whither I am, thither ye cannot come. Right? It says, Then the Jews said among themselves, will, they, will he go, that we should not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles, and teach the Gentiles? Right, so basically teach these Gentiles that the dispersed, the, sorry, the dispersed among the Gentiles were then referred to as the Gentiles, right? Because, you know, you, you read the script, I mean, is the, is the Lord schizophrenic? You know, in one place he's saying, don't go into the Gentiles. 
you know, Matthew 10, space, don't, don't, don't go teaching, you know, the Gentiles, go to the lost sheep of Israel. But in here it's saying teach the Gentiles. And then the rest of the scripture is talking about Israel. And then he later comes back in Revelation and says, I'll give you power over the he uh, over the nations, i.e. the heathens. Which one is it? Well, this is talking about the Israelite foreigners, right? It says, what manner of saying is this that he said, ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am, did the ye cannot come. So they're like, shit, what, 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 what does he mean by that? Right? It says, um, uh, where am I? Where am I? in the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahushua stood and cried, saying, If a man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me is a scripture that said, Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And what's one of the ways the scriptures have described the Lord? Describe the Lord as an austere man. Describe the Lord as um, someone coming to bring back vengeance. Also describe the Lord as a so called black man. Right? This is what this spake he of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Because that Yahweh Shah was not yet glorified. That says many, like I said about, you know, everything happens in the season and the time. It says many of these people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of the truth, this is the, this is the prophet. Others said, this is Mashiach. But some of them say, shall Mashiach come out of Galilee? Galilee? Hath not the scripture say, said, hath not the scripture said that Yahusha, the that Mashiach cometh of the seed of David, which Yahusha did come of the seed of David. Right, in fact, he was the son of David in Solomon. When it says um the second Psalm of seven and twelve says, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I'll set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I'll establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name, so I'll number a house for his name. Um, for, for, for the name of Yahweh, says, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. Right, and here's the point: if he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. Right. So that never happened. You read First Kings eleven, you can see that Solomon went off. Right. So is the Most High lying? No. Right. This is the thing on reincarnation. Right, because Yahweh Shai didn't sin when he came back on the scene. Yet he was beaten with the rod of men. Right? So, uh, yet yeah, let me carry on. It says, um, and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. So you go back to Matthew 2. It says, now when Yahweh Shai was born in Bethlehem of Judah. Right? And, you know, that's, that's just straight to the point, that one. Now the town of Bethlehem where David was. So, so there was division among the people because of him. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid his hands. Then um, came officers, the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto him, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never, ne answered, never man spake like this man. So basically, they, they were not. I was like, Yo, shit, hey man, this man, hey, man's deep. You know, they wanted to take him, but they, they was like, Look, man, hey, oh man, this is, I ain't ever heard him. This is, man, this must be the truth, man. This must be the man. And you see people will come up to so they might, might come with intent to scoff and then they end up, you know, getting schooled and they're like, oh shit, hey, hey man, oh man, right, so then answered the Pharisees, answered them the Pharisees, are you also deceived, have any of the rules of the Pharisees believed on him, but this people who knoweth not the law are cursed, and Nicodemus saith unto them, he that came to Yahushua by night, being one of them, doth our Lord judge any man, bear it him, uh, and know not what he doeth, they answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. And every man went to his own house. So, yeah, I just wanted to go into that real quick. Um, yeah, like I said, I saw the gaze.